so this is the aims to measure seroprevalence and associated factors of hepatitis B virus infection among HIV positive adults that are attending antiretroviral treatment clinic at one of the university teaching and referral hospital. And when we come to metallurgy section, an institution based cross sectional study design was used and it was conducted from October to December 2017 Gregorian calendar and samples were, go, were, were got through systematic random sampling technique and after getting informed consent from the different patients that was collected by structured and interview administered questionnaires and the sample was collected from venous blood and centrifuge to separate serum and hepatitis B surface antigen was detected from serum using advanced quality one step rapid test kit and data was entered using epidata version 3.01 and export to species version 20 then summary statistics by varied analysis and multivariate analysis were performed and <coughs> the variables having significant association <coughs> with p-value less than 0.05 in the multivariate logistic regression were taken as independent factors and the strength of association was declared at horse ratio at 95 percent confidence interval and when we come to results total of 442 study participants 187 males and 255 male and female were included in this study and overall prevalence of hepatitis b surface antigen was 8.4% that means 37 patients had uh, become uh, positive for hepatitis b surface antigen and family history of hepatitis uh, b virus in the adjusted ratio 8.83 at 95% confidence interval and multiple sexual partner in the adjusted ratio 7.08 and at 95 percent confidence interval and cd4 cd4 count less than uh, 200 cells per uh, microliter were found statistically associated with hepatitis b surface antigen positivity and when we conclude this study the prevalence of hepatitis b surface antigen in this study was high and the determinants or factors that are independently determining were family history of hepatitis B virus infection, history of uh, multiple sexual partner, and CD4 count less than 200 cells were independently as with uh, hepatitis B surface antigen positivity. So we have recommended that screening of hepatitis B virus before initiation of ART on uh, HIV patients and providing appropriate treatment for co-infection is needed and furthermore uh, accurate information risk factor for hepatitis b virus transmission should be provided by using more advanced techniques